On a scale from one to ten, seven five. How about zero? Yeah, like a two. You didn't let her finish. This <laughs> is so rude. Don't worry, Michael will finish her. Oh, <laughs> gross. Howdy, folks. We're going back to you, me, and the movies. And guess what? What? We still have Halloween movies to watch. There's no way. This Halloween season. There's no way. We watched like eight of them. I know. There's more. We have the Rob Zombie remix to watch. How many of those are there? There's two of those. Are we watching both of them? Yeah, we're going to watch both of them. All right. And then we also have Halloween 3, Season of the Witch to watch, which is the one Halloween movie without Michael Myers in it. So that is going to be our Halloween scare-tacular this year. How come we didn't watch these the first time? Because I wanted to get through the Michael Myers, like the original continuity that's linked to John Carpenter's movies. Okay. And this is the remake that's its own universe. Like remake from number one? Yeah. The remake of the original Halloween by Rob Zombie. Why would you do that? Because they thought it was time. Yeah, I guess they, they do back. with like the Czech, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And, and they came shit. back and made sequels to the original after these two films. So. Oh boy. Yeah. They can never get enough Michael. It's going to be great then. Yeah. That's what you're telling me. Uh, perhaps. I don't know. Okay. We'll have to watch and find out. I've only seen the first Rob Zombie movie. I've never seen Halloween 2, so... Next week will be a first time watch for both of us. Ooh. But I did go to this movie with my like ninety two year old great grandmother when she was still alive. Nice. Yeah. She was into it. She was a badass. I don't okay. know if she was into it, but she went to this movie with me. She she went with you. Yeah. <laughs> so she seemed to do all right. Okay. So there you go. All right. Well, are you ready to see what Rob Zombie's got in store for Michael Myers? I guess so. Let's jump in and check it out. But first... But first, this video is brought to you by HalloweenCostumes.com. So if you want to get a Michael Myers costume... You can. Check out the link it out in our description and get 15% off your order. Go get yourself a Michael Myers mask, jumpsuit, knife, whatever you need for your great costumes. Halloween costumes. Or any other type of costume. And they're great quality costumes. They're good quality. Yep. We've been impressed with the ones they sent us. I think we bought like four costumes this year. Like four different yeah. types of costumes this year. So... For t this year and for future... We're never going to need to buy a Halloween costume again. <laughs> we are stocked. So yeah, check it out. Halloweencostumes.com. The link is in the description. Yeah. Well, should we head back to Haddonfield? Let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for this movie. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos. One commentary, access to polls, so we'll watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. Let's watch Rob Zombie's Halloween. Here we go. It's also the unrated director's cut. Oh, gosh. Those are always my favorite. The darkest souls are not those who choose which choose to exist. Ah, oh, fuck it. You're just going to give up? Great. Dr. Samuel Loomis. This guy. October 31st. Morning, he speaks? He likes cripples. Bitch, I will crawl over there and I will scum fuck the shit out of you. Oh, I'll get the crutches for you. Jesus. Seems like quite a different family dynamic than the original. Yeah. Would make more sense from a, like a childhood trauma standpoint that Michael Myers would come from a family like this. Yeah. Can't you see I'm making eggs over here? Uh, yes. Uh, since when? Uh, since now. They're chicken abortions and they're fucking gross. They are not chicken abortions. You know what an abortion is. It's also the dumbest statement I've ever heard. <laughs> Don't you give me that look! Chicken abortions. Man, that bitch got herself a nice little dumper. What did you just say? You heard me. That's disgusting, fucking pig. Oh, what's the matter? You jealous young daughter's ass, huh? Kick him out. Hey, get your ass downstairs and wash your hands, you little shit. I'm not listening! He killed his rat pet. You know my bell? What the hell took you two so long? I was a I had to flush him. He flushed that rat? That's a big rat. 
Maybe that's why you had to cut him up. Elvis, uh, uh, uh. You, you know, it's a fucking rat. This family's fucked up. Morning, boo. Morning, boo. That was sweet, though. Yeah. I hate you. And I hate you, too. You see this? As soon as this heals, I'm gonna break it again on your fucking face. Enough, all right? Can we just... Great family. Hey, Mikey, how's your mom doing? You know, my old man said that for a buck, she'd rub her tits on his face. Shut up. Makes you feel bad for Michael Myers. <laughs> yeah. Bring it up! I said bring it up! You over there! You over there! You there! He started. Shut up! Fuck you. Fuck me? Why did they age this man? I don't know. I do not enjoy calling you down here every five minutes. Really? This looks like a Rob Zombie or something. Miss Myers, this is Dr. Loomis. I took the liberty of calling him in. It's uh, Roddy McDowell. I'm pretty sure. He looks super... No, Malcolm McDowell. He, uh, he looks su super familiar. I, the name means nothing to me, but... Oh. I hope you're not squeamish, Mrs. Myers. Oh, God. Oh. Michael loves animals. He... It's typically the thrill of hurting or causing pain to smaller creatures. It's often an early warning sign. Early warning sign for what? That he's going to kill you and your whole fucking family. Where's it going? He's about to kill his first people. I think I know what his first kill's gonna be. They didn't change the theme at all. The theme song? Yeah. Oh, you gotta it's pretty stick much the same rendition. What works, right? Yeah. See, I don't know if I like this version of Michael because it, it gives you a, a reason for why he snapped. Yeah. That's what makes him so scary in the original I, is... I agree. He just... You just don't... You don't understand you, right. why. Yeah. You know nothing about him. It's a nice homage to the original. I don't think they're watching a thing from another world. I think they're watching The Thing and John mm -hmm. Carpenter's. No, tomorrow things are going to change around here, so I suggest you live it up tonight. Taking his last words. Would you do me a favor and please take your brother trick-or-treating? Why don't you have that subhuman sloth over there on the couch do it? You know, if I could get that lazy drunk off his fat ass, I would. Bitch, if you don't think I ain't making a mental list of all your fucking bullshit. I'm not sure why uh, she puts up with Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> Pop, if your dad hears us. Hold up, man. Oh, I'm asking me the boobies. I got a surprise for you. Oh, no. Wow. What? Take that stupid thing off. Oh, come on, babe. I want to do it with the mask on. <laughs> Did he even go trick or treating? No. Oh, maybe. Getting candy God. corn is the last straw. <laughs> He's like, God damn candy corn. I like candy corn. Is that a circus peanut? Yep. I like circus peanuts, too. <laughs> God, you're weird. Those are, like, maybe some of the most polarizing Halloween candies. Yeah. Although I, I don't consider a, a circus peanut a Halloween candy, do you? No, it's a circus peanut. It's a circus candy. I feel like I remember those more during the Easter time for some reason. Ronnie was really passed out drunk.
He's got a baseball bat now. really likes to kill people I forgot how much yeah he really likes to kill people he's usually a silent killer though it's been yelling a lot <laughs> Steve stop it <laughs> stop once a night is enough stop it Michael Michael what the fuck are you doing in here answer me Michael Michael So putting on that mask made him quiet? I guess so. It's like the first three were like anger driven, like, and then now they're just. Because he likes it. Yeah. Not the baby, not the baby, not the baby. Happy Halloween, boo. What are, oh, you, what are God. you doing out here? Oh no. Michael, what's going on? Oh good, he's still alive, okay. Michael, what is going on? Answer me. He didn't kill his mom? In the original Halloween, his mom and dad show back up after being out, and he's just sitting there. They never really explain what happened to them. Smith's Grove, 11 months later. You remember nothing about getting a knife? Mm -mm, I didn't do that. Oh. Hey, Mommy. Yeah. Is everyone at home okay? Everything's okay at home. Liar. I think he's faking? Definitely. Hey, Mikey, how you doing? I spent a little time behind walls. I know they can drive you crazy. You know, learn to live inside your head. I, I gotta get back to work. Are you take it easy, Mikey. I think he's like possessed by something every now and then. Unless it's like purely controlled by the Halloween it's day. Yeah. Why did you make it? I have my secrets. What's happening? It is the rare occasion that he will allow himself to be seen without one of these. It's like Leatherface. Mm. I need to get out of here. Yes, that's not going to happen for a while, Michael. You're going to need to fake it better for a really, really long time. <laughs> Wearing masks every day isn't helping. Christian Michael Myers has become a, a sort of ghost, a mere shape of a human being. Doesn't bode well for getting out. Mm. He is the shape. That's what they call Michael Myers the monster. The shape. Apparently there's nobody else in this mental hospital. No, he's the only one in the sanitarium, I guess. No, sit with Michael. I'm taking his mind out of car. Yes, sir. Thank you. He's gonna kill her with that plastic fork. Is that the original nurse from the car in the first one? Could, the first be. One? Could be. Cute baby. Couldn't be related to you. That's fucking rude. Yeah, he's gonna kill her. What's a metal fork? He's really forked up now. Oh, 
Oh no. What about the baby? Fifteen years later. You may have worked here for many years, done all manner of things. And I suppose that's because you're a hard worker. Most of you people are. All you women keep your little bungalows clean, sweep off the dirt floors, keep the papooses in order and all. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Hey, 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 don't touch those. What? He doesn't like it when you touch the ass. God damn. Holy shit. Sorry about these chains, Mikey. I mean, you're sorry about these chains. You got feelings uh -huh. for this big idiot? Is that works right? better if you're kind to people, jackass? Don't look at me. I'll be a shitstorm in your worst nightmare, motherfucker. I'll come in here and fuck this place up one night. You watch. <laughs> I think I know who's next. I'm kidding. I mean, look at how big he is. I really don't know what else. It's Tyler Maine. He plays Sabretooth in the first X Men movie. In a weird way, you've become like, like my best friend. <laughs> That's a really it just shows you how fucked up my life. Fortunate statement. <laughs> These are the eyes of a psychopath. Michael was created by a perfect alignment, thus creating a psychopath that knows no bounds. Yeah, it's scarier when you don't know what created him. Yeah. Yeah. Like I like how the original Doctor Loomis just said. I looked into his eyes and I saw nothing. Like the first time I ever saw yeah. him. Yeah. Right. They never said a thing to each other. Well, we're we're just here to look in on you. We know it's your first night now. Gross. Hey, Mikey. We brought you a little company. Yeah, we got you some new yeah. fresh meat, baby. Fucking bitch. You want some of that? Come on, baby. It was really turning Michael Myers into a hero no character. No shit, it's weird. <laughs> what was their fucking plan? He didn't move until they touched his mask, though. <gasps> I take it he... Oh no, he didn't get out. There he is. Mikey! What are you doing out of your room? Does Michael kill him, even though he's always been nice to him? I don't know. Get you back into your own bed, okay? It's so close to retirement, too. Turns out, doesn't matter how nice you are to him. Yeah. He, he broke out a, a few hours ago. Sam, it's a it's a fucking massacre. Isn't that booger from Police Academy? No, I think it. No, it's Ron Howard's brother. Oh, oh yeah. Can't think of his name. Something Howard. <laughs> yeah. Clint Howard? I think so. Not too good. Jesus. Fucking walk, looking at Penthouse while we're watching this movie? Ooh. That's Skank Magazine. 
I got a Taco Deluxe Supreme talking back at me. Do you mind waiting somewhere else and let me pass this beast in peace? He doesn't want to wait. Let me introduce myself. I'm Joe Grizzly, bitch. You're both big motherfuckers. So strong. It's scary. I took his jumpsuit. Yeah. No. Guess what, Mom? Mr. Nichols touched me the wrong way. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, that is so not funny. You want a screwdriver, Mommy? You want a hammer? <gasps> Look at this, Mom. <gasps> Lori! I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Are you eating? No, I'll get some at school. Oh my god. Oh sure. This is what the face. It's weird. Teenagers. Tell me I'm your babysitter. You're crazy. I know this. You're crazy. You're crazy. Oh! They made the baby seem like a boy. Cause he called her Boo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was just his pet name for her. Lori's the baby. Yeah. He's home. Guess he had time to do that after he killed his sister. I don't know. I guess he hid the knife and mask, huh? He's right there. What are you crazy? You can't go in there. Oh, yes, I can. Shame on her dad for sending her here. To drop off mail. On Halloween. Mommy, don't even joke Anytime. I'm serious. He's a little kid version of the kid from that Game Boy, that game that we played, the scary one in the... Oh, yeah. The Quarry. Yeah. Quarry. Okay. That's it. Quarry. Scary Quarry. There's no place to screw around with. Does he know? That it's his sister? Yeah. No. I don't think so. Maybe he does. But how? It's Daniel Harris. Jamie from the other Halloween movies. The little girl that plays Lori's daughter. She's the girl in Halloween 4 through 6. Look, all you guys had to do was to play zookeeper. If our security wasn't sufficient, Sammy, you should have warned us. So you're just gonna wash your hands of the whole thing. You know, you two make me sick. <laughs> They're gonna blame him after he retired from treating them. You know damn well where he's going. And where's that? Home. Haddonfield! Haddonfield is a hundred miles away from here! He can hitchhike. I heard about your little cheerleading incident. Yeah, I'm totally famous. <laughs> You're totally a slut. Totally. This is a weird conversation. Like, their whole conversation so far has been so not a normal conversation. I'm pretty sure you said the same thing about the conversation in the original Halloween with these yeah, girls. It could be. <laughs> Feels like a man wrote this dialogue. <laughs> You know, like 40-year-old men. They know how to write high school girl <laughs> conversations. Hey, Freak. Hey, Freak, you want some of the young stuff? You like hey, that? Well, come hey, and no. get it. Hey, hey, my daddy's the sheriff. Huh? Why don't you go <laughs> crawl back under your fucking rock? <laughs> uh, See, I told you. I'm just a stupid fucking pervert. Total pervert. Gosh, you guys are crazy. That guy could have been dangerous. Oh, oh my God. You should date him. <laughs> <laughs> also, like, girls don't really tickle each other. That's weird. What's up, Dad? I'm on my way home. Anybody want to ride? Yeah, hell yeah, I'll take a ride. You recognize him? Yeah. Listen to his voice more. Chucky. I don't know if they had palm trees in Illinois. <laughs> they didn't do a good job of wrapping that one. I 
I'm still upset about the whole bagel thing this morning, if you want to know the truth. <laughs> I'm still amazed. A young boy like that, butchering all those people. And the doctor involved. I think he wrote a book or something. Fucking blood money. Yeah, I read that book. It was a masterpiece. Now, are we... <laughs> <laughs> Who would do sick shit like this? I think I know whose grave that is. Jesus. Trick or treat. Dude, it fucking totally sucks that they're selling this place. Uh, it's reduced. Maybe I can buy it. Yeah, with like your $10 you have in your piggy bank. It's a shithole anyway. They go to have sex in this house? This is the sex house? Gross. <laughs> Michael doesn't like it when people have sex. <laughs> wait, wait there, wait there. Hold on, hold on. Wait, my oh, cap okay. is cramping, oh, man. Wait, oh. <laughs> Get me another beer. You get it. I'm the one that just did all the heavy lifting. She was on top. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> On a scale from one to ten, seven five. How about zero? Yeah, like a two. You didn't let her finish. This <laughs> is so rude. Don't worry, Michael will finish her. Oh, <laughs> gross. Oh no. I think this is the original van from the first movie. Could be. They recreated it really well. At least he got to have sex before he died. I think most most men would, you know, yeah. at least appreciate that. Doesn't matter had sex. What? Does it matter had sex? Right. Mm. I'd rather go out while having sex. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm. That wouldn't be traumatic. <laughs> well, that's cute. See anything you like? <sighs> oh, boy. But anyway, you're not a zero. You're fucking, like, minus five or something. We're seeing lots of vagina in this movie. Has there? I mean, the penthouse vagina. Oh. We just saw her vagina. That's two more vaginas than you usually see, you know? Who knows? Maybe we'll see a wiener before it's all through. One could only hope. If you want to uh, blow its fucking head off, this is what you want. 357 oh. Magnum. He needs to be able to shoot it six times. Hmm. I shot him six times. Six times. If you could just wrap it up, that'd be great. Thank you. What are we hunting? A man. A monster. You know what that means? Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> yeah. Love you guys. How long was this movie? Two hours. They're going to wrap all this up in 20 minutes? 40 minutes. 40 minutes. I feel like they spent a long time at the beginning. Yeah, they really fleshed out his origin story. Oh boy. Goodbye, Dad. <laughs> Goodbye, Mom. I don't think Michael kills the Strodes in the first movie, does he? Don't remember that. I heard that on Halloween night, the boogeyman sneaks out and attacks kids you don't believe. You know what, Tommy? That is true. He likes to eat little boys like you. I don't know if the, the boogeyman would like to eat him. He's kind of bony looking. <laughs> Oh, 
Apparently he was more interested in the movie than killing him. I guess. The time. The stone will be returned tomorrow, and besides, it weighs over half a ton. That's my point, exactly. Who could so lift it? So you're saying that one man picked it up and walked away with it? Yes. He's very strong. You come by my office tomorrow. Tomorrow is too late. Evil is here. Just go by his house. Check it out. You, my dear, will be happy to know that I talked to Paul about his buddy Ben Schramer. Annie, I don't need a boyfriend. I'm no, fine. that's not. I meant you okay, need Annie. 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 Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. Annie. Okay. There's children present, girls. I'm gonna do a wellness check even though they didn't because they didn't answer. Stop! Leave me alone for five seconds, please. Five, four, three. <laughs> okay, okay, please don't. Oh, no, no, no! I'm gonna tell your parents! Were you ever a babysitter? No. So glad we're experiencing so much teenage sex with everyone this evening. Just breaking all the rules of scary movies. Big guy hits hard. She's dragging her nipples across the ground, too. I can't feel good. Oh! <laughs> Floor burns on your nipples. That did not feel good. Dragging out her kill because he's been trying to kill her for three movies. Daniel Harris. Um, Are you sure you're okay while I take Lindsay home? I'm fine. Are you sure you're Tommy? I, by yourself? I'm fine. Why don't you all just go together? Ago, I respond to a 911, which turned out to be the Myers woman's suicide. And I see this beautiful, innocent baby sitting in this thing. About three months later, I find out from a friend of mine, Mason Strode, that he's adopted the baby. She was always destined to be in Haddonfield. Still there. This is Bracket. What's the nature of the emergency and who called it in? We're stabbing victim call placed by a boy Strode. He's found her! He's found her for God's sake! How long is it gonna take to get there? It's about ten minutes. Oh jeez. Why is she limping? Like, well, he just threw her across the room. Oh. Well, don't take him to the house! I'm just surprised he left Annie laying there alive. That door didn't last long. They at Tommy's house? I think so, but I don't know why. She called into the other house. Oh no, because she called the cops from her, Tommy's house too. Is he gone? Wait, no, there's no one out here. How they get out of this bathroom? It's a dead end. He also just made another noise when he got shot. Yeah. That cop should have unloaded his whole clip, though. Yeah. What's he want with her? Don't know. 
We never really found out. I know. This is different than the first one, than the original, yeah? Yeah. I don't remember him taking her. Brace yourself, Sheriff. Annie, oh, sweetie. Stay with me, stay with me. They'll be here soon. Come on, darling. What is it? What, what? He took her. He's taking her back to his house. Hmm. To kill her in her crib where he should have killed her to begin with. She dead. How did he know? He smelled the mail. She stabbed him. Well, any love he had for his sister is gone now. Yep. Where did he have her? I don't know. Why is there a fucking fence in this basement? Oh no, fell in a pool. Shh. Another reason why pools are just a fucking horrible idea. Get up! Get up! Get away from him! It's alright, it's alright. You're safe now. Okay. No, you're not. Think he's down? He's not moving. Is that the boogeyman? As a matter of fact, I do believe it was. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the hell? It's my fault. I failed you. Please let her go. Please. Kill him, Dr. Loomis. quick <gasps> Dr. Loomis still alive? Yep. He's gotta be. He can't be killed until the next one. He's gotta self-sacrifice in the hospital and that... Yeah. Inferno. Well, technically, Sammy Lewis doesn't die in that one either, even though he blows up at the building. Mm, that's true. Comes back burned in the fourth movie. And they're never going to be able to sell this house.
Is it even the ceiling he just destroyed? She makes lots of noise. Oh, he broke her fall. She only put three bullets in there? She shot her, shot him in the face. Hopefully, I don't know. That must not be the case if there's another one of these. I think uh, this was originally supposed to be just a one-off. Hmm. And Rob Zombie actually regrets her shooting him in the head. There, I have no regrets about that. <laughs> but we'll see how he survives in I'm, Halloween. I'm too. grateful she kept on going and pulling that trigger until. Uh, it... I wonder how many different endings for this they filmed too. But I don't know. Yeah. Apparently the chamber got spun off. Yeah, it must have. scuffle. Well, that was the remake of Halloween. Sweet. What do you think? It was alright. Is alright? How would you compare it to the original? I think that the original obviously did it better. Yeah. Um, I think that what... I don't like the backstory they gave Michael. Yeah. What makes Michael so scary is he doesn't have a reason. Right. He's just a pure psychopath. He's a silent deadly mm -hmm. killer with no you never morals. hear him talk you never hear him yeah. you never have a moment of oh i want you know childhood trauma yeah. that would explain it you never have this moment of feeling sorry for him no. for something that he went through or, like hoping that he kills a bad person that's right exactly there. Yeah. yeah this one did all of those things which um, makes him less scary because there's a method to, or there's a yeah. reason why he is the way that he is. And I think it's, yeah, more scary not knowing why. Yeah. Definitely flesh out his backstory more than this. And I don't know if it works. The only noises he really makes in the, in the original is just heavy breathing. Mm -hmm. In this, he grunts. And then we actually hear young Michael talk. Right. And I think that kind of ruins the, the mystery of them all. Mm-hmm. He's supposed to be just this kid that was quiet, never really talked to anybody, and then snapped one day. And you just don't know what his backstory anything. is in the original. Yeah, really. Yeah. Well, actually, I, I totally forgot that they left Annie alive, so he didn't actually kill Daniel Harris. And I wonder if that's because they had her play a character and they didn't want. I wanna... bet she dies. You don't they think know, she dies? She was still alive when her dad found her. So mm, I think that's just to make her dad. I think if they were in a killer, they would have outright killed her. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because she was played by Daniel Harris that Michael never killed Jamie in the original continuity, so they weren't going to let him kill, you know, Daniel Harris in this continuity. So Annie survives I don't barely. Know who the fuck this person? You is. don't remember the little girl in Halloween four, five, and six, played by that same actress? No. Don't. Sorry, no. I don't remember any of those movies except Jeez. for the first one. Okay. After the first two, I, I, they're all the same. They mean nothing to me. <laughs> okay, all right. So, what do you think of uh, the guy that played Michael Myers? I think he was bigger than, obviously, bigger than the original Michael Myers. Yeah. And I don't know that that was necessary. And yeah, Michael, he's kind, of, he's big, but he's they he's made like normal him dude big, right. right? They made him more like Jason big. Yeah. Which is fine. I mean, you always kind of wonder how he's so strong. Mm -hmm. But I think that's also part of the scariness to the original Michael yeah, he's, is that he's like a nor he's like a six foot yeah, tall it's like guy. Like superhuman strength. That yes. Has no explanation, right? Yeah. Exactly. This looks like he's just been doing push ups for fifteen right, years. Right. Looks like he's been working out yeah, the gym for a while. Pull ups, sit ups, making and masks, and, and, and doing masks. pull ups. Yeah. And, so, man. I don't know. It's it was fine. It's just not as good as the original for sure. Yeah, a lot more nudity in this one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's for sure. Boobies and pubies. Boobies and pubies. Who had the most brutal death? They're all about the same. Yeah, I feel like his 
kills when he was a little kid were more brutal than... Yeah, his stepdad kill was pretty yeah, intense. Baseball bat. Baseball bat was gross. The first beating that he did with the stick from that yeah. kid. Yeah. Hmm. Gross. Well, this was fun. What do you think of uh, Malcolm McDowell as Dr. Loomis compared to... He was a good Dr. Loomis. Yeah. I mean, similar in... Mannerism. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It was just a, a pretty good match with the original, I think. Yeah. Besides the bald head thing. Yeah, he, Donald Clancy's apart, more yeah, bald. Paul, uh, apart from baldness, I think he plays... He represents Donald... What's his name? Donald Pleasance. Donald Pleasance pretty yeah. well. Yeah. You didn't really have any iconic lines like Don Planston, though, right? Uh, not really. Pleasant's had some good deliveries that made some good uh, memorable lines. Like, I'll shut up six times. Yeah, or, well. Devil's eyes. Ah. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm done with this conversation. You're done with this conversation? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, what should people comment on after Rob Zombie's Halloween? I'm sure this is some people's favorite. Yeah. How do you compare this to the original? Do you like how uh, Rob Zombie gave him a backstory and a understandable origin to his madness? Or what do you think of Michael Myers' portrayal in this? Yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Come back next week for the second one, yeah. I guess. The sequel. We'll see how he makes a comeback. I don't even know how that got shot in the head, so I'm not sure how they bring him back. Can't so, wait. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full and commentary, and access to polls, subs, pick watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.